Namaskar and good morning. I am Rigankadip Bharatwaz, a research scholar in the Department of Physics, Mizoram University, under supervision of Professor Shuman Raisar. Today I am going to present my synopsis as a PPT come video mode. Title of my research is going to be a study on up conversion and down conversion in lanthanide dope in silica glass co doped in metal nanoparticle towards photonic application. Before start my presentation, I am going to express my heartiest thanks to my guide for his patience, motivations and suggestions towards me and hope still lot to achieve with his kind blessing in near future. I am grateful to Dr. Lal Thakimi ma'am and Dr. Bieler sir for their outstanding help and suggestion during our coursework. I am also thankful to department and our HOD professor R.C. Tiwari sir for his help in this course of struggle. Nevertheless, I am thanking our Dean of Physical Science, Professor Jaya sir and Mizoram University for offering such a great platform for learning as well as projecting. My presentation can be classified in six part, introduction, scope of this study, application, the method for synthesis of glass sample, characterization of prepared materials, tentative septorizations, reference. Photonics. Photonics is the physical science of light generations, detection and manipulations through emission, transmissions, modulations, signal processing and switching, amplification and sensing. Photonics come from Greek word phos means light and optics is the science of vision. Different field of application where photonics contribute are ultrafast photonics, quantum photonics, astrophotonics, biomedical photonics, defense photonics, optical fiber technology, renewable energy, etc. This picture is taken from EPIC. EPIC stands for European Photonic Industry Consortium. This is solar light harvesting, bio application art conservations, optical fiber technology, defense photonics, agricultural use, road safety, etc. Now come to rear art element. Rear art element is a group of element comprises of scandium, itarium, along with lanthanide, series. Lanthanide series start with lanthanum Z equal to 57 and it run up to lutetium Z equal to 71. The all element in this trait are falling in the lanthanide group. Lanthanide is paramagnetic in nature and each ionic radius contract. Electronic configuration of rear art. <clears throat> we can see the electronic configuration of rear art element and clearly see that F orbital is surrounded by 5s, 5p, and 6s, which are completely filled, and these are F orbital are partially filled. The ceiling in lanthanide makes it relatively independent of environment and also distinguish it from transition element. Dieck come up with a diagram in 1968 using Russell Sonder coupling term. This is multiplicity, this is orbital angular momentum and this is total angular momentum J. 2S stand for spin and L stand for orbital angular momentum. This is extensively still today used for represent lanthanide atoms and 
electromagnetic waves this is de broglie equation and here we can clearly see that energy is directly related to inversely related to sorry uh, wavelength this is the range of frequencies of or wavelength of different light we are interested in a property of a lanthanide that is called up conversion <clears throat> up conversion is theoretically conceived by nicolas in 1959 and practically it is achieved by ogels in 1969 here uh, one uh, near infrared excitations convert into visible and ultraviolet emission there is three types of uh, up conversion sequential two photon up conversion cooperative up conversion and photon avalanche we can see here clearly a b c here only one ion is required here two ion is required here three uh, two ion is required but condition is uh, here uh, first one photon will absorb by electron it will go to a higher series set from here it will go up straight and when it will come back it will emit higher energy photon Similar process here, both electrons go up and one is cooperatively transferred energy to another electron. And when you radiate, higher energy we will get. Here, one and an electron is excited state, one is ground state. We are writing our definition in next slide. Uh, it is clearly seen in these two cases, uh, three cases, single ion, two ions, and excited ions, and ground state. So it is between excited state and ground okay now come to down conversion it is similar to up conversion but here one photon uh, one absorbed photon of high energy can yield into two emitted photons it is also known as quantum cutting uh, this is the um, uh, a a is ion and b is another ion suppose a will absorb one uh, photon and it will go excited to higher energy state when it will come down uh, it will emit uh, two photon of lower energy state so uh, lower energy so this is called down conversion and this wavy line is uh, for dissipation uh, non-radiative radiation non-radiative radiation where energy is dissipated this all are similar to up conversion now let's come to quantum efficiency of up conversion in a particle uh, quantum efficiency is the ratio between radiative decay rate and to the total uh, decay rate mathematically it is represented by eta uh, eta uh, jude of tell uh, jude and of tell uh, independently uh, put forward jude of tell theory and it will use to calculate oscillator strength uh, as well as we can calculate uh, the intensity parameters spontaneous emission possibilities radiative lifetime and stimulated emission cross sections from these oscillator time and jude of tell theory Quantum mill of lanthanide dub systems depends upon numerous factors such as activator, sensitizer, host material, concentration of dopant ions, uh, the separating distance between the dopant, uh, etc. Important factor. Here it is another one uh, important uh, property. You can see band gap tuning, lanthanide show this property also. If we will dop in uh, semiconductor like zinc oxide. Uh, we will uh, it will show green to red emission so it will absorb in green and it will emit in red this is due to this defect state it is possible the now we can see exponentially increasing the research number of literature uh, is increasing and uh, here also we are showing uh, in x axis the pi was shared more 42% uh, by biophotonics and nano mode is in 28% and other is 30% this uh, research was survey sorry survey was done in uh, web of science in clarity analytic on this uh, scientific platform scientific citation platform uh, now come to applications uh, we can see that this is am 1.5g spectrum uh, air mass uh, spectrum that is we are usually conventionally used to uh, describe the solar spectrum for silicon solar available for silicon uh, uh, photovoltaic cell uh, so Scott Lay uh, limit this uh, maximum uh, efficiency of a photovoltaic cell from 1.1 electron volt is 30 to 31 percent nearly. So the rest is dissipated as a heat or different type of uh, losses that subband gap loss, thermalization heat loss. So to uh, forfeit these losses, we can use DC down conversion and up conversion uh, to 
uh, absorb 1.49 watt per meter square or 164 watt per meter square dissipated energy to our silicon solar bed. For that purpose, we are going to use uh, up conversion and down conversion and down shifting layers. And you can clearly see here, uh, this is the solar cell. This is the solar cell and uh, above we are using down conversion, below up conversion layers and uh, below one reflecting layer. So light will come, it will uh, make it one photon into two high energy photon into two photons and it will absorb by solar cell. Raised uh, photon uh, light will be go down and it will uh, um, up convert, converted. That means two photon will be increased to uh, higher energy photons by up converging layer. And what will be remaining, it will be reflected back again um, so that you will uh, used. Up. Uh, now, uh, theoretically, Scott Lee equation limit is uh, for BP cell is increased up to 40% uh, nearly. Next, coming uh, bio applications. In bio application, we can use uh, in vitro and vivo is very uh, common. Uh, here, usually use this type of uh, organic fluorospore and fluorescent protein uh, and quantum dot also. Uh, the disadvantage faces by organic and fluorescent and uh, fluorescent protein, uh, <coughs> though it is traditional, uh, there is some uh, uh, difficulties also there uh, shortcoming. That the shortcoming is uh, uh, strong <coughs> suffer from low photostability and strong uh, strong background autofluorescence in the visible spectrum. So quantum dot is uh, quantum net can uh, forfeit that first one. Uh, that means uh, it is more photostable than organic fluorospore. Uh, there are cyto photo uh, uh, narrow band bandwidth also there, uh, but uh, toxicity is uh, uh, cytotoxicity over time is still uh, remain to establish. But up conversion and down conversion in a particular is much efficient for this purpose, and they serve these purposes uh, advantage uh, for this type of experiment. Here we are uh, laser source. We are emitting this. This is our uh, samples, and it will illuminate it. And after that, uh, the radiation uh, emission will be uh, seen uh, in spectrometer. Mm. Next, we go to quantum information processing. Uh, in that case, Kunkel uh, 2018 uh, review was to very groundbreaking. Uh, we get a good insight about the inf quantum information processing using lanthanide uh, uh, particles. Uh, IBM also 2017 for, uh, announced that they they can store one bit data on a single holomium uh, holomium atom set on uh, bed of magnetic oxide. Conformal microscopy is another one emerging area of uh, up conversion uh, and nanoparticle and non conversion nanoparticle used. Uh, this is our objective here we are going to s s speak some few words uh, our main objective is to uh, top this uh, top this um, ions in our glass silica silicate glass host along with titanium that is uh, a transition metal and this is a semiconductor metal for enhance their uh, quantum yield or this type of things so for photonic applications it was structural uh, and optical uh, Oxygen property also examined. This is the uh, most usually used process, sol gels, where this is our solution and we will condense it, jellify to get this uh, um, out uh, final product like dense thin film, fiber, powder, and ceramic. We are mainly interested in spin coat uh, of these things. Uh, this is uh, super critical drive. Uh, in our lab, also already zero zone is produced. Uh, for dense ceramic, this is the uh, final products diagram of final products. Uh, we can see core cell is very uh, emerging nowadays, very um, used by researcher. This is our characterization procedures, uh, optical characterization and structural characterization. We are going to uh, going for our uh, uh, materials. This is photolumination spectroscopy, UV spectroscopy, FTIR, XRD, SAM, and TAM for characterization. Uh, this is my tentative chapter, Introduction Literature Review, Experimental and Analysis of Structural Properties of PPR Sample, Calculation and Discussion, Conclusion and Results, and Future Outcome. Uh, this is reference. Uh, I was taking help of this reference to prepare these slides. And um, <clears throat> thank you for your valuable time and have a great day.